What's up guys, I'm Mark and today we're talking about whether or not Crunchyroll is worth it in 2021. I did do a video a few years ago, but ever since then a few things have changed with the website. I do appreciate everyone in the comments telling me that you can actually use Adblock on Crunchyroll. You can, and everything works perfectly fine. But if you do want to pay for the service instead of pirating it, then these are some of the things that Crunchyroll actually does for you. If you pay for the $7.99 a month subscription or $96 a year, you get no ads, unlimited access to all the videos on Crunchyroll. So if there's a new episode of an anime releasing today, you can go and watch it that day. New episodes one hour after it airs in Japan and access to all of their digital manga. If you decide to go out and get the mega fan subscription for $9.99 a month, or $120 a year, you get to stream on four devices at one time. You get offline viewing, which is absolutely the coolest thing. If you're like in school or somewhere that doesn't have the best internet connection, if you're doing a road trip, this is absolutely amazing. This is part of the reason why I'm actually subscribed to YouTube Premium. You get first access to the Crunchyroll Expo events and lotteries. The events this year are all digital, so keep that in mind. And you also get $15 off of a $100 purchase in the Crunchyroll store every three months. And if you're a goon and decide to get the ultimate fan subscription, $14.99 a month or $180 a year, you get to stream on six devices at one time. You get a $25 voucher instead of a $15. You get an annual swag bag and you get access to the limited run Hime Nindoroid figure. Yes, I mispronounced it. Now, through the power of the internet, I did in fact find out the annual swag bag. It's just a bunch of mid stuff. From the picture, it had some lanyards, a pop socket, some eyeglasses, a power bank for your phone, and a t-shirt. <laughs> now, if you're looking at it from just the tier stuff, I definitely don't think it's worth any amount of money. There are some nice things that Crunchyroll does have, so just from any membership, even if you have a free account, they actually save the progress you've made on every single episode, and they also have a history function, so you can see which episodes you've seen of an anime instead of having to bookmark it and possibly rewatching the same stuff. And you also get one consistent website to watch all of your anime. So if Crunchyroll has a bunch of anime you want to watch, maybe get the Crunchyroll subscription. Maybe it'll be worth it for you. I do think though that if you want to support the industry, there are some definite other things that you can do as opposed to getting a Crunchyroll subscription because let's be honest guys, you're probably going to go out and pirate the anime you're going to watch anyway and I'm not going to lie guys, I do it sometimes too. Yee. If you are interested in supporting the industry, definitely consider looking at donating to nonprofits like the Japanese Animation Creators Association. They help improve the living conditions of some of the animators and stuff that help work on the anime. You could also see if your favorite artist has a Patreon or if they do commissions. Or if you really enjoyed someone's work, you really want to go in deep. Definitely consider going out and just buying a physical manga. If you're able to buy it new from a bookstore or somewhere else, that can definitely help a little bit. Anyway guys, hopefully you liked the video. If you did, make sure you like, leave a comment, and yeah, see y'all later. Woo!